Apple's newest Mac OS, Big Sur, is here. Let's dig into the developer's beta and find out all of the most exciting new features. First off, you should know that we have a beta version of Mac OS Big Sur here. The public beta will come out in July, and the main release will be generally available as a free software update for all users in the fall, as long as your Mac is compatible. If you do have an Apple developer account and want to download Big Sur right now, I just recommend that you don't do so on your main computer because it is still a beta and there may be some bugs. We're testing it out on a 2020 MacBook Air. Let's dive into some of the best features we've found so far. The biggest change you'll find in Mac OS Big Sur is an Apple Safari web browser. When you open Safari, you'll find a customizable start page, which lets you pick from different wallpapers or use one of your own photos. It's easier to manage all of your open tabs and a built-in translator will help you translate seven different languages. You'll also find much better privacy features, similar to those in the Brave and Firefox browsers. A privacy report button will let you see how websites track your data and if any of your passwords have been compromised in a security breach. Apple promises that it'll load the websites you visit most often faster too. Another big update in macOS Big Sur comes in the Messages app. You can now do things like pin important conversations to the top of the app, and when you search for something, you can organize results by links, photos, or matching terms. And for some fun, you can now design your Memoji right from your computer instead of your iPhone. Personally, there are few things more annoying than getting caught up in a long group text message where suddenly you have 50 new messages and none of them have anything to do with you. But luckily in macOS Big Sur, Apple's giving us a new way to keep those group messages under control. Type someone's name out in the group to tag them directly in the conversation. And on the other end, you can choose to only get a new notification if your name gets tagged. Moving on to another useful feature update, Maps. The new Maps app on Big Sur lets you explore new places with guides from trusted resources, or ones you make yourself, marking your favorite restaurants, parks, and vacation spots to share with family and friends. You can also find 360 degree views of places like Golden Gate Park in San Francisco with the look around feature. There are pretty detailed indoor maps of major airports and shopping centers. And if you have an electric car or scooter, you can use EV routing, which will let you know things like where charging stations are, the weather, the elevation, and your electric vehicle's current charge level while on your route. Another change you'll find in macOS Big Sur is also coming to iOS and iPadOS 14, widgets. Widgets are large dynamic icons that show you live app information on your home screen, like the weather or your daily step count, without actually having to open those apps. You can set it up so you see different widgets at different times of day like the weather in the morning and news headlines in the afternoon. Finally, if you buy one of Apple's new Macs that comes with the new Apple Silicon chip, your version of Mac OS will have an interesting new feature, which is the ability to natively run iPhone and iPad apps on your Mac. This means if you've already purchased an app on iOS, you won't need to buy it again for Mac OS like you do now. These new features really only scratch the surface of what you'll find in Mac OS Big Sur. Make sure you go to CNET.com to check out all of our coverage from WWDC, including macOS and iOS. We're constantly testing these new operating systems and reporting on what we find. Drop me a note in the comments to let me know what you're looking forward to, or maybe what doesn't impress you so much. Just please be kind, this is my first CNET video. Okay.